So friends, we will be sharing these thoughts on self-knowledge as usual. For me, 50 years have gone. For you, maybe more, because some of you are elder to me. For some it is less. But we are blessed to be in a tradition. It can be 5,000 years, 50,000 years, 50 million years, doesn't matter. Timeless tradition. So if we have to learn from our own five years, ten years, or fifty years of life's experience, imagine how much can we learn from a fifty million year old history, or a fifty thousand history, five thousand history, it doesn't matter. It has been given to all of us in this beautiful Vedic Upanishadic tradition, a human tradition, which is interested in helping us to recognize something which is absolutely universal. There is nothing or there is no other thing universal than the self, the reality, who we are. Please. What all things we have, we are dealing with, they are not universal. Everybody doesn't have to deal with a sickness or a disease. Everybody doesn't have to deal with their poverty or prosperity. Everybody doesn't have to deal with youth or old age at one time. Only there are varied situations. Our, uh, the place where we are living in, the citizenship that we have, the life that we feed, face are different kinds. But who is facing it all? Individual, the I. There are so many different roles for the I. But who that I is, that is absolutely universal. Even that word I is not universal because it can be aham, me, mu, nan, nenu. So many different names are there. But all that it stands for, all these names stand for something which is the universal. So, it is absolutely essential that we can learn from our own experiences in life, but there is nothing like learning from the experience of others. And what these scriptures or the great masters have already told you, very nicely. Aneka Shastram, it's not 50 years of life, 5 years of life, 10 years of life, friends, a child who is beginning his life must be given a direction that which is already been proved or uh, has blessed the people who are elder to him. What is the idea of my committing, repeating the same mistake, committing the same mistakes, then learning from it? That's fine. As a child, you have to learn many things in life. But the elders must know completely what exactly is the thing. Because you can give only a direction only if you have found it. If you have not found it, how are you going to give it? So, a person, <laughs> a person who knows physics is not going to teach you mathematics. So, physician's problem, physicist's problem is not mathematician's problem. Historian's problem is not geographer's problem. Think please. Different subjects. A married man's problem is not the bachelor's problem. A mountaineer's problem is not the skydiver's problem. Whereas, there is one human problem living and dying, born and dead, that is a universal problem. Roles do not die. Roles continue to live. The king is dead and long live the king. The positions are continuously, they are there, but the people are occupying the positions are continuously changing. And therefore, we have to understand about ourselves because the positions, the roles have absolutely no problem. There is nothing in this universe which is a blessing or a curse by itself. It depends upon who is dealing with it. So that is why 
Understanding about one's own self is very, very important. Very, extremely important. And this is what in the Naiskarima Siddhi, that beautiful verse comes, which is so universal, good for everybody in this world, every human being. It doesn't matter where you are born, this country, that country, this continent. It, forget it, just as a human problem, friends. And what is that? Aneka Sastram. There are many, 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 many books, scriptures, informations available in life. Aneka Sastram. Bahuveditabhyam. There are many, many things to be known. Think of it, friends. How much we have all our, our own tiny little life from childhood until now, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. How many things you are knowing? Bahuveditabhyam. Many things to be known. And the more you come to know, the more you discover how much you do not know. It becomes frustrating. The more you have, you come to discover how much more you do not have. So what is the end to it? Therefore, the Naiskarma Siddhi is very nice. Surya Suracharya says, Anayaka Shastram, many, many things to be known. Vahuveditabhyam, many things to be known in life. But Alpascha Kala, Time at your disposal is very little. A young man, a young person doesn't understand the limitation of time. He has all the time to experiment with. But a time comes when you know the time is very limited. Either you do the everything or you die. So long before you get into that stage, in the very beginning of life itself, if a person knows, Many, many things to be known. Bahuveditabhyam. But time at our disposal is very little. The young man who discovers time at my disposal is little, not necessarily because you are struck with a fatal disease like a cancer or something, but because you know life as such. Any time it can come to an end. Any time. Pratyayanti gatah purar nibadha divasa kalo jagad bhakshyaka. The days that have gone are never returned. The time devours the creation. Every moment we are passing. So time at my disposal is very little. And Bahavascha Bigna, the difficulties on my way, obstacles are too, too many. Too many. It can be Adhyatmika, Adhidaivika, Adhivautika. It can be something your own physical body can create problem for yourself. Continuously changing and dying. Adhyatmika. Adhibhutika, the world can create a problem for you. Environment can change. Political situations, historical situations, social upheavals, anything can go wrong. Then Adhidaivika, it can be a tsunami, earthquake, one uh, cosmic disaster, an asteroid hitting the whole planet Earth can be pulverized, where even the prehistoric animals, they were all these uh, dinosaurs disappeared. Bhavasya Vigna. Therefore, how nicely they say, yet Sarabhutam, that which is most, most essential, Sarabhutam, like taking the butter out of the milk. Sarabhutam, yet Sarabhutam. Tadupasita, what is the Sarabhutam? By knowing which, everything is as well known. By doing which, Everything is as well done. This information, friends, a child cannot get by itself, himself. No child can get by himself. By the time you learn everything, your life is finished. Imagine, therefore, friends, thousands of years of experiences of life. Thousands of life, different lives people have lived. And therefore, those who have lived those lives, they have not painted their hair white, but it has grown white in time. Person aging, thinking, contemplating, recognizing something and knowing for sure this is what I have gone through, this is what I shall show you, the Absolute. When the, that is where comes the Avaya Pradhana, the assurance of the wise man, like Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, when Arjuna is desperate, Nahi Prabhasyami Mamapa Nudhyatya Shornam Indriyanam. 
अभाप्य भूमौ असपत्न रुद्धम साम्राज्यम सुराणा अधिपत्य अधिपत्यम ओ लॉर्ड इवनी बाय गेट दि सवरिटी ऑफ द गॉड्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड किंगडम प्रस्परस एंड ऑन ड्राई वर्ल्ड येट द उच्छोषण इंद्रिया द सेंसर अगेंस्ट द लिमिटेशन दैट दे गो थ्रू द माइंड द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट दैट इज गोइंग थ्रू कैन नेवर बी रिजॉल्व बाय दीज थिंग्स सो प्लीज टेल मी वॉट इज दर हाउ टू आई गेट इट ही इज कंप्लीटली डेस्परेट दिस विक्ट्री इज एट अनदर विक्ट्री दिस किंगडम इज एट अनदर किंगडम दिस गेन इज एट अनदर गेन और दिस लॉस इज एट अनदर लॉस आई वॉन्ट टू गेट समथिंग वेर दर इज नो गेन नो लॉस it is lasting forever happiness once again never comes to an end i don't want to die immortality is my destiny can you give me something like that and he's so desperate about it naturally you are desperate when you are desperate what krishna says first thing asochyan anno sochastam he or you know do not grieve for a thing that is not to be grieved he has not yet given the destination but he knows it and therefore he said don't worry i'll fix it up for you Have you not seen, friends? When you are at the crossroad of life, something somewhere you don't know. If you do, you are damned. If you don't do, you are damned. You give, you are in trouble. Don't give, you are in trouble. You have the, it, you have a problem. Don't have it, you have a problem. Don't know what to do. That is the time. These words of assurance, abhay pradana, like the tradition, the mother image or the all the images like that. Abhay, abhay mudra. Come, I shall protect. find somebody and the whole tradition here is like that like bhagwan says krishna shankara writes no no ma vaishta vidwan tava nastya paya he vidwan learned one discriminative one don't worry about it because the shankara sra verses how he says durvara samsara davagni taptam dudhuyamanam duradrushta vatehi भीतम प्रपन्नम परिपा मृत्यु शरण्य मन्यम न जाने फोन यू राइट दैट इट इज डिसेबल सेलिंग द शंकरा एज ए शिकर टेलिंग दैट शंकरा एज ए गुरु सॉल्विंग इट द वन मैन हैज गॉट कंप्लीट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लाइफ आर यू गेटिंग दैट पॉइंट प्लीज इज नॉट दैट इज प्रॉब्लम इज समबडी इज शंकरा इज ओनली गिविंग सोल्यूशन नो द होल लिटरेचर इज सो ब्यूटिफुल बिकॉज कम्स फ्रॉम वन माइंड the same child me who was growing up the same young man me who was growing up in school college university the same one who went through the limitations and everything the same one who felt suffocated confused directionless the same person found that reality understood guru whatever the teacher and coming across getting this knowledge gets out of it and therefore has even his guru has assured him he assures everybody is not a drama being played out is not a role being played out is not a deception being carved out for people understand friends that's a tradition guru parampara so when he says that durvar samsar adab I'm, i'm completely burned down roasted in the forest fire of samsar dodhuyamanam dur adrushta batehi by the wind of the unknown i'm completely shaken bhitam frightened prapannam i surrender unto you please protect me from death not necessarily death of the body death of an emotion death of relationship death of a dream death of anything in life i don't want to suffer this limitation and death saranya manyatva dham na jane i don't know anybody who can give me the direction and that time what the teacher says ma vaishta vidwan tava naste paaye he vidwan oh you have found out the suffocating dimension of this existence don't worry tava apaya nasti you don't have to worry about it samsara sindho taranasti paya there is a way to cross the ocean of samsara you don't have to drown anymore wow that a person who he gives you the assurance that itself is a huge relief awa is like you are desperate to get for 10 lakh a million rupees or get a job without who will be dead or something who will be totally helpless somebody says don't worry i'll give you a job how do you feel i'll give you that money how do you feel you need the gold for your daughter's marriage i'll give you what do how do you feel think friends it is so amazing this morning i was writing down 
hungers are million kinds. You are hungry. You are hungry for food. Please listen, you are hungry for food. Do your hunger for samosa, chocolate, ice cream, or hunger for something is different kinds, there is only one physical hunger. And which, which food it can be satisfied? Any food it can satisfy you. Hunger is one of a kind. Hunger for things are many kinds. As many things, that many, as you say, you are hungry for this, hungry for that, but hungry you are, no. Empty you are. So hunger is not different kinds. Objects of hunger are different kinds. And once you satisfy your hunger, hungerlessness is not different kinds. Hungerless is one of a kind. Same thing also, this hunger for music, sound, touch, touch somebody, touch something, taste something, taste somebody, yeah, taste something, smell something, see something. For this country, that country, this planet, that planet, different types of hunger. Because depending on what you are hungry for, hunger is one kind. Satisfaction, one kind. When you are satisfied, only one kind. So now the person must understand, oh, I am so frustrated, so many things, I don't know which one to go for. And when you are so desperate, I wanted to get the knowledge, I want to go, go to college, got it. Degree, got it. Job, got it. Money, got it. Relationship, got it. Everything got it. Still I am empty. Saranyamanyat, I don't know what to do. When you are just desperate, a child is not desperate, your child is still playing with his toys. Ask yourself, are you still a child satisfied with playing with your toys or you are a person who knows it will come to an end, then what? The real living will come to an end, then what? Such a person you are. And when you are thus desperate, if somebody just tells you, don't worry, I will fix it. Oh, Think, friends, these were the millennium's experience, the traditions of thousands of years, echoes in the mind of every individual in the human world. It doesn't have to be Hindu, it's not have to be Muslim, Christian, this and that. Don't talk about religion, names, place, not necessary. I don't want to discuss that. It's a human thing. Human problem. The problems of human beings have no religion. Hunger has no religion. Ignorance has no religion. There is nothing, no such stuff. Please. So when somebody is there to, in tradition, come, I shall rescue. When? Not after death. <laughs> Here and now. At this moment. Where? Here. I don't have to move? No. When? Now. I don't have to wait? No. There is no waiting in liberation. There is no waiting for happiness. There is no waiting for infinity. There is no waiting for immortality. How can you wait for immortality? If it is all times, all places, how can you wait for it? It is already reached you, you even, even before you are aware of it. Therefore, when the teacher says, I shall give it to you, when? Now and here. Wow! Even if you have not got it, just somebody gives you that assurance, I will feel, Appa, please tell me. Okay, sit down. Yes, Sarabhutam. Whatever is the essential thing is life. And what is the Sarabhutam? I should know. How do I do that? Hanso yatha kshiram ivamma mishram. He says, please, go for that which is essential, like the legendary bird swan. Give him the milk and the water, he takes the milk, leaves the water. Water is needed in life. Water will quench your thirst. The milk of wisdom, immortality, shall take away the thirsty person itself. There will be no thirst, no hunger, no nothing. You are the absolute. So when the Shastra says that, the people who are aware of it, a tradition which is aware of it, what shall he do? He shall lead the people in that direction. Or else what happens is, in the name of educating, what are you doing? You are creating, as we saw yesterday, you are creating different roles, fake roles, fake, fake, fake identities. 
वी आर गिवन मिलियन फेक आइडेंटिटीज ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस आधार कार्ड आइडेंटिटी कार्ड आई डी वोटर आई डी हंड्रेड डिफरेंट कार्ड बैंक कार्ड इनकम टैक्स कार्ड हाउ मेनी कार्ड्स यू आर गॉट फेक आइडेंटिटी नन ऑफ दिस थिंग्स यू आर थिंक फ्रेंड्स सिटीजनशिप अनदर फेक आइडेंटिटी Childhood, youth, old age, different conditions of the body, fake identities. Why continuously changing? How do I rely you? You are now child. After some time, you say you are young. After some time, you say an adult. After some time, you say an old. You say I am living. Then you say I am dying. Which one is truth? Understand the beauty of it, friends. And all the fake you shall enjoy only if you know you are genuine, like the actor. When the actor is aware of himself, what is the role that he cannot play? You are a multi-million-dollar actor, rich actor, but playing the role of the ugliest, the damnedest, the dictator, the heartless, the kind, the compassionate—any role you can play. Roles do not limit you. Understand? Don't hate the roles. Roles are there to be played about, and that is something. Which comes naturally from within. Yesterday I was telling you that is sarasa kavita vanita chayiba sarasa swayam agata. When effortlessly it comes to you, it is all rasa, full of essence, full of joy and enjoyment. When you are trying to get it, somebody get it, manipulate it, destroy it, demand it, receive it, boring, 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 boring. Truth, absolute immortality is absolutely effortless. Sarasa, always that Navarasa. One day we should see that we have got all the time to talk about friends. That all the Navarasas are there, not to be suffering from it. Whether it is Shingara, Vivasya, Vaingara, all the different types of Hasya, so many different types of moods we shall see. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> the navarasas are given to enjoy living not to be suffering angry that is also a rasa when a actor pretends to be angry how beautiful it is understand every role if you see that friends every vegetable you are preparing is a rasa same vegetable chinese preparation thai preparation indian preparation south indian preparation same vegetable Vegetable is same, truth is same. You are the same. Which all million moods you can express yourself? Oh God, so much. Naturally, it comes. It is with every individual. So when somebody, when you are going through the school, going through the college, university, we are picking up all false identities. And friends, do not dismiss it. Why? Because false identities are picked up, necessary to play our roles. And the identities are picked up by somebody who is real, not fake. What you pick up is fake. Who you are is not a fake. Are you getting that point? Who you are, who anybody is, is absolutely beautiful. So tad sarvutam, tad upasitabhyam. What is there something which essence of everything? What is there something which essence of everything? That is what we shall see now. What is there something? Yet sarvotam, which is the most essential thing. What is there something? Are you interested in this, or you are interested in some roles? Like friends, I can ask you a question. Come for a meeting. Come for a congregation. Come for a discourse. Come for a uh, conference. And what is that? We shall make you forget your sorrows for some time. We shall make you forget your sorrows for a day, two, one year. We will make you forget your sorrows. How much time doesn't matter. And another one is: you come here, I'll help you to be the happiness absolute, where you can enjoy your sorrow. You don't have to forget your sorrow. Where shall you go? There will be millions who shall go for forgetting their sorrow, and that's what exactly happens. All oh, this escapism in the name of religious gatherings or secular gatherings—what are they doing? All forgetting, forget for some time. Sir, please understand, friends. Nobody can make you forget anything better than the nature itself. 
deep sleep state. Continuously six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours. As a child, we sleep for twelve hours. Old and tired, you can sleep for seven, eight hours. When think for think of it, who can make you forget everything for eight, ten hours like a deep sleep? And when somebody says, "I shall make you forget everything," what does it mean? I shall put you in an artificial sleep, and you pay for it. You are purchasing your sleep. Natural sleep is available. Go sleep, forget. Why do you say it's a sleep? Because when you wake up, your problem comes back. When you go away from the conference, you go away from the meditation, go away from the practices, go away from the all the different types of chanting, singing, dancing. Whether it is school, college, university, or in the monastery and mon- wherever it is, the moment that little engagement is over, your problem returns. What happens when the problems are not there? Not that you are not there; you are sleeping for some time. When as in Upanishads, it is not come and forget yourself; come and be yourself. Remember yourself, like Arjuna says. After 18 chapters of teaching, Bhagavan says, "Did you understand? Yes. Nasta moha, delusion is gone. Smriti labdha, got back the memory as though forgotten, as though remembered. How beautiful that celebrated story of Hanuman when he was a child, he was jumping to get the sun and the in the heavens. We were thinking it's a ripe mango, enormous power." And he is creating all little mischief with the all the sadhus when they were doing their pujas and rituals and all the meditations. So they got little angry, you know, sort of playful monkey. But he doesn't know what he's doing. But we are, you are honestly inconvenienced. So they sort of put a sharp eye curse on him. You shall continue to be a child. You will not forget remember your power until somebody reminds you. So he remained a monkey. Bus. And when the time comes, you have to cross the ocean to get the peace, the Sita. Amazing, huh? Somebody reminds him, "You are the one, the son of the air, Vayu Putra. You can cross it, really." And he gets back his little strength. Boom! He jumps the ocean. We are all like playful children. We are caused by so many different types of things. People have deliberately destroyed us by giving us role with a good intention that I'll grow up, but we get stuck on that. Because the people who are giving us the roles have not gone beyond the roles. How many school teachers, college teachers, university teachers, father, mother, friends? How many of them? They are giving us the roles. Have they gone beyond the roles? How are they going to teach you to how to go beyond the roles, friends? Please think of it. So he remembers like that. Arjuna says, "Man Mohanastha, delusion is gone. I got back the memory. Wow." And who is that person? Anybody, just anybody. So it is necessary that we begin with these roles. Nothing wrong. Don't say oh, this education must stop. No, 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 no. Nothing must change. Nothing must stop. Just add one ingredient. Know about yourself. Bus. Nothing more than that. What shall we learn? Anything. There should be people with different types of branches. Imagine music is only one kind, cooking is only one kind, dresses are only one. What type of boring world it will be? No, creativity, infinity, infinite range, infinity. How many ragas are there? Can you name it? How many ways of cooking is there? Can you name it? How many ways of laughing? How many ways of loving? How many ways of oh God, reveling and enjoying in this living? Billion ways, but happiness is one. <laughs> you can have hundred different varieties of dishes. Hungerlessness is same. Hungerlessness. There is no Chinese hungerless. India. You want Indian hungerlessness? Chinese hungerlessness? Thai hungerlessness? African hungerlessness? There is no such stuff. Thai food, Chinese food, Indian food, um, African food, this is there. But hunger and hungerlessness is one universal kind, and all about yourself. Roles can be different. Understand, friends. So when that is there, so but instead of 
So in the secular studies, we do get different type of roles. But unfortunately, the religion, which in the name of solving my problem, adds to the problem. Never the secular world promises us, you shall be mortal. He shall say, you are mortal. Man is mortal. That is your ultimate words. <laughs> And the religion shall say, you are mortal, but after death you shall be mortal. After death immortal, you know, what type of statement is that? After death immortal. Huh? How can I die to be mortal? People don't understand. So, so many different types of religions and thoughts are there. It doesn't matter. All confusion shall exist in this world. In that confusion you shall have the light. The same point where you see the Madras, Tamil Nadu, Ashram, the same point is world, earth, universe, nothing else. Infinity is never away from finite. Immortality is never away from mortality. That must be seen very, very clearly. So when you see that, please, childhood, that is how the life will begin differences. But ultimately one day you have to see that. Who has to see that? Who should be taught? I. Individual. We shall see that. What is the most important thing in life? Okay? That is what this is why the scripture is because so beautiful, so universal. Anybody, any human being, anywhere growing up Everybody must be told from the day one you start facing the problem. Don't worry. Children don't ask it. Children are not worried because the parents know what is his problem. Hunger is come. I will prepare everything. By the time they are hungry, you have kept everything ready. He is thirsty, you keep everything ready. You know he is uh, uh, spoiling, he's soiling his clothes. You know how to wear fresh clothes and everything. Think of it, friends. How do you take care of a person? Because the moment it is, this problem comes, I will know how to take care of it. Have you taken care, of, taken care of the conflicts of human individual? Have you taken care of the sense of limitation, sense of frightening death and disaster? When that comes, what shall you do? Forget it? Come and hold my hand and dance? I'll hug you, I'll touch you, I'll uh, give you something. When drugs, they can forget it and go into sleep? No. If you know it, because if you make him Forget everything, you shall make him drug dependent, practice dependent, idea dependent, thought dependent, money dependent, sensation dependent. No, sir. Immortality is absolute freedom. Everybody is already immortal. Happiness, absolute. And the person who knows it, he knows I am teaching the child. Like we went through the school, college, we had our limitation, then the conflict comes, what to do? There appears a guru, helps us to recognize. And once he sees that, then what happens? Shall you not be able to give the direction to the next generation? Of course. Why? Because I found it. Special something for me? No, 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 no. It's absolutely ordinary, commonplace. Mortality is extraordinary. Understand? Exclusive life, exclusive pleasures, exclusive sensations, happiness, ordinary. Happiness is not exclusive. Sensations are exclusive. Are you getting that? Sensation from the music, different from sensation from different type of touches, different type of taste, different type of smells. Happiness is same. Think of it, friends. Like the food you take. Why do you eat food? Satisfying the hunger, right sir? Hunger lessness is same kind. Different types of exotic food will not give you different type of exotic uh, hungerlessness. Please appreciate. Human lessons, what has happened to us today? <sighs> this morning I was, as I was walking, I was thinking, think, beautiful morning, quiet place. Suppose there is a, I mean a village, in a hutment. There is no hunger, because food, plenty of food is available. Festivities are there. Simple things, whatever human being needs to live, is there. 
your child is playing, your wife is there, your husband is there, your father is there, a small little family. Do you need a palace for that? Do you need a king or queen for that? In your own little palace of apartment, you both are kings and queens. Your children are princes and princesses. Your own kingdom. Absolutely happy with yourself. Even the kings will envy it. Why? Because what has happened today is we are making people to appreciate bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, more and more and more and more. Where is the end? Instead of making this person who is feeling helpless like a beggar, dying, mortal, helping you discover the immortal, absolute, the emperor of the universe, you are condemning the emperor universe to the beggary of third kind. Useless kind. Positions. Competitions. Comparisons. As I told you yesterday, it's not only between the comparison between people and people, competing between people and people, but competing with your own little, little roles of many kinds. Comparing yourself. You can compare. I was like that. Listen carefully. I was poor. I am rich. Comparison. In satisfaction, there is no rich and poor. Manasicha paritushte eko dhani eko daridra. When your mind is reveling in the absolute satisfaction, who is the dhani, who is the ridra? Who is rich, who is poor? But what is my life? I was poor. So now we can talk about I was poor with that type of confidence because when you are poor, you are so miserable. Since I was poor, meaning I am no more poor, I am confident. Really, how much you shall see? Until you find the next richer man, you shall feel poor. Somebody has to just enlarge your dream. You shall feel be destroyed completely in life, sir. Think of it. So people who are giving us this type of dream, you have this, you will be fulfilled. Or, in case you have the problem, come, forget it. Beautiful musical extravaganza. Billion dollar yacht. Outer space travel. Add. Add to the list. Whatever you like. How many people are like there to find a guru like Yamaraj and a student like Najigedas. When the Najigedas Yamaraj says, I shall give you everything. Imam Imarama Saratha Saturya. Take these heavenly delights, heavenly denizens, with their all experiment, their musical instruments and what not. Enjoy as you like. Swayam cha jiva saradi Leave as long as you like. When the Lord death promises it, there is a meaning in it. What, what Najiketa says? Api sarvam jivita malpa meva. Even the longest time of living is waste, is just a fraction in the timeless dimension. Jarayanti teja and these pleasures you are giving it to me, teja jarayanti the shining youth shall fade away. Tabayu baha tabanutti gite keep yourself near which go. You keep yourself with yourself. I am not interested in all this. Give me that something which is never lost. The teacher wanted to test out the student. Why? Because the students sometimes come in a momentary dissatisfaction, in a momentary frustration. I fell in love, fell out of it. The girl is gone or the boy is gone. The business is gone. Career is lost. Have job is gone. Therefore, please, 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 please. He comes back. Then he sees, oh, the teacher is very good. He has got a lot of money. So, can I be the next guru? Wow. He is not interested in being the wisdom. Now he is interested in being the next guru, the power or the position. Oh, I came to know that. Through him I come to know the king and the king has given him a good job. Bye-bye, namaste, work out. Why? The focus is not there. Nachiketa's mind. Not that he is not interested in all these things, sir. Listen carefully. Wise man is not a stupid to say no to the kings and kingdoms. First give me the happiness absolute, then what do you want to give me? Poverty, welcome. Prosperity, welcome. Kingdom, welcome. Hartment, welcome. 
What a wisdom, friends. Shall there be a fight in this world? Think. So, the question comes, very important question. Yet, Sarabhutam, what is the essential thing? I must get it. And what is something which is most important thing to know in this world? First find out, what is that something which is most important? Or who is that something which is most important? I have told it many times. But today I shall give it a little different touch. Because I got this idea, I have been dying to share it with people. Please think, friends. Think. What is the most important thing in this physical universe? I don't want to get up there and make a drawing, you know that. Please, think of this universe. When you are not there, you can imagine that your body is 78 years old or 30, 40 years old or 20 years old. Your body was not there at one time. Can you not imagine a world without you? You can surely. Why? You are seeing the reality. When you are nearing 100, you know very soon you will go under the ground. Not on the earth, but in the earth. You will soon disappear. The creation will exist. Will it mean anything to you? Never. Until your body was born, until you are, your physical body is there, will you be aware of the physical universe? The gateway to the universe. So friends, what is that something which is most important in the physical universe? Think it. This is Upanishads, Vedas, knowledge, pure and simple. You don't have to scientifically prove it, rationally prove it. Why this desperate attempt? I was really looking at some of uh, this uh, in the, uh, what is that, uh, uh, internet nowadays, you will look at it. How many things are coming to prove how the Mahabharata is scientific, how the Upanishads, why? Who is interested? Sir, I am dying. Give me the medicine that makes me cure. Cures my disease. Finished. Shall I that time when that time when I am in a dying condition, you know, completely in a terminal patient, shall I be interested? You are giving the medicine? Tell me the history of the medicine. Who created it? Which country it came from? Was it prehistoric or after historic? And what nonsense you are asking? Are you really desperate? Whether Mahabharata is true or false, Upanishad is true or false, it historically it existed or not, Rama existed or not, Krishna existed or not, does it matter to me? What he has told, what he has shared, if that fixes me, finished. No guru is dying to be remembered. No wise man dying to be remembered and worshipped by the next generation. You know what Ashtavagara Gita says? Haro yadi upadeshtate Hari kamal jo piva Tatha pinatava swasthyam sarvam vismaranatrute Your preceptor can be Hari, Vishnu himself. Hara, Shiva himself. Brahma, Brahma himself. Or, I don't like this male figure. Brahmani, Shivani, Vaishnavi. Doesn't matter whoever is a mother. Still, you cannot find the stillness, steadiness. Sarvam Vishmanadude. Until you forget your teachers and the teaching. How do I forget the teacher and the teaching? When you forget yourself. Meaning, when you recognize yourself, who you are, when you do not exist as a student, the guru disappears. Don't dismiss Guru. Dismiss yourself. Guru shall be destroyed automatically. This role goes away. The God moves because individual is not there. Think of it. Why are you dismissing gods? Why are you dismissing gurus? Why are you dismissing traditions? Why are you dismissing anything? This is the pleasure the individual gets. This is known as the fake pleasure the individual gets by telling, I am the most powerful one, me generation. Right? I am the richest man in the world. How does it matter? The richest man has got the poorest man's problem. Rather the poorest man may not have that type of conflict with the richest man has got. Conflict, divorce, disaster. 
killing people. Billions of dollars you are giving for what? Experimenting on human beings, destroying. What is this scientific experiment on the, when you are creating the most devastating instruments to destroy the mankind? Very recently, they say Chinese people are discovering something by which the, um, the soldiers will not die, but they're mentally they will be deranged. What type of thing is that? What kindness is that? Now, yesterday's news, beautiful, somebody from some David Bond somewhere from America, the, the person can now travel in the speed of light. Beautiful, amazing, let it be there. So, you want to go in lightning speed to die in another planet? Simple thing that lady asked. Don't say women cannot study it. You know, Yagyamalka's wife, what is Maitri and Gargi, Yagyamalka was a wise person. He had all the security, everything in life. He said, I want to disappear, go into the isolation. And everything is divided between the two. It's the story of a king and a queen. The king can say, I'm going, the kingdom is divided to you. It can be a small man's kingdom. And he tells the two wives, I have, I'm going, you will stay here. And what they asked? Yeah, they are the wives of a wise man, they have also rubbed off some wisdom into them. You are living with a person. He said, will this wealth be giving us security? You are there, we are not secure. Wealth is there, we are not secure. Now you are going, living the wealth. Will that tenaham amrita shyam kim? Shall I be immortal with it? Will it give me immortality? Absolute strength? Absolute freedom. And what Yagimalki says? Shall he tell a lie to the person whom he loved? No. Amruta tasna asasti vittena iti. Vittena, by this wealth, there is no hope of immortality. Meaning you can't. Call it immortality, call it happiness, call it anything, friends. Simple truth, he gives it away. Should he be a king and a queen for that? Should he be the richest man in the world? And he have the same problem. You, the, the richest man divorced, right? We are not talking about the human situations of theirs. They are as fragile as anybody in the world. What has made them fat and good? Big billion dollar around. So the dream of the billion, the fellow is useless. There is one person's name yesterday came. He has given some eight billion dollar in charity living in a rented house. He has given out everything. He is big. Another fellow is accumulating everything, he is big. Are you crazy? Neither of them are big. If renunciation makes you big, without renunciation you are nobody. If indulgence makes you big, without indulgence you are nobody. Sir, we want you to be somebody. Renunciation, indulgence is your choice. Choose to live, choose to die. Never kill somebody. Let everybody have their own time. Don't say I'm better than them. In absolute wisdom, there is no comparison, no competition. You, me, everybody. Sarvam khalidam brahma. Everybody is truth. Brahmaivaham idam jagat chasakalam chinmatra vistaritam. Brahmaivaham. Aham brahmaiva. I am the absolute. I am the only one. Chinmatra vistaritam. Jagat chasakalam. The entire universe. Nobody is ever away from the touch of the immortality, absolute. Think of it, friend. It's not a it's discourse. It's a celebration of our being. Anybody, anywhere can recognize this. So in this universe, friends, think, what is the essential, most important thing? Our body. Physical body will never know that body is most important. Deho na janati, the body doesn't know. Through the body you know. Think. Listen carefully. Very beautiful. The most important thing in this physical universe is what? Hundred carats and thousand carat gold uh, diamond? Million carat diamond? Let us say there is a whole planet which is made out of diamond. Does it mean anything to you? Maybe you have not yet discovered the uh, most uh, valuable uh, metal. Maybe there are some planets and stars that are full of that. Does it mean anything to you? Think. Our body. Without this body, I will have no access to the physical universe. 
not only you know access to the physical universe understand friends in this body if there is not a living mind the body will have no meaning the chair has no problem the mountains have no problem animals have no conflict understand unconscious universe have nothing no problem semi conscious trees and plants have no problem no conflict conscious animals they are conscious but they have no problem self conscious individual individuality human being problem begins with human being the problem perception crisis perception begins with human beings understand and a human being not a child no understand so each child now think in your child when you are growing up you are creating a little personal universe within yourself unconsciously through my body i hear through my ear i hear sound universe i touch so many things touches continuously adding new new sounds you are adding new new touches you are adding new new sights you are adding taste you are adding smells you are adding there are simple thoughts that is your personal world if it doesn't exist in your thought world it doesn't exist for you why the child cries only for the mummy and the papa why not for everybody else later on you grow up why your wife only your son only your daughter only or your husband only and now nobody else little expansion this is my this is my state this is my country the more you say you are crying only for your father and mother others can be dispensed with this is my village other village can be destroyed other country can be destroyed what are you doing so survival only for you that makes you utterly selfish me generation you understand friends if there is a if the secular sciences secular studies gives us that type of very solid individual identity is not the physical body gets that identity in the body through the senses we are gather the thoughts understand so you have got a thought world go back to now if the physical material universe the most important object in this universe is your physical body in your thought universe which thought is most important think for you in your personal thought universe if something is not existing that thought is not existing that object in the world is means nothing to you every man lives in a tiny little world of his own my father my mother my husband my wife my child rest die if you contribute to my money my wealth my clothes my food you are my darling one dear one if you take away from me you are a killer so group now individually you cannot protect so make it a, our village our state our country our continent you can expand to a country continent planet or a solar system still will be isolated in the majestic universe because limited identity until you understand you are part of the universe itself think of it so in your thought universe tiny thought world don't even say thought universe is our euphemism to make it a big word in your little thought world which is the most important thought i thought i hope you understand it once for all i thought nan nenu mai mu je i thought just like if your body is not there you have no access to the universe the without this i thought no other thought is a problem right or wrong what is the most important thought 
That the body is dying is not a problem. I am dying. That the body is growing is not a problem. I am growing. That the poverty is not a problem. I am poor. That my father is dying is not a problem. I am fatherless. My lover is dying. It doesn't matter. I don't have somebody to love me because I hate myself. Are you getting that point, please? What is the most important thought? Without a thinker, the I, the I thought, you will have no perception of problem. So now think, in this whole physical, in this whole universe now, physically the most important thing is body. We shall take it tomorrow day after. It doesn't matter whenever it is you will do it. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you. The physically, be assured and think for yourself. Physically, nothing is more important than your physical body. That is why you cannot and you should not put people into trouble to prove their patriotism, to give their life for the country and then put some fancy memorial for them and say, we are giving them the, you know, all final light and all that stuff. Why don't you die and your name be written there? Why you want to be the defense minister? Let you die. Go die. Die. Come on, don't die. Because you are holding them in such high... You are literally, friends, whitewashing their brain to say that, that they must die for the country. They must die for something. Die. Why don't you die? It is so noble, no? Die. How pleasure you take to kill people. Powerful. All these barbarians, dictators, invaders. We have put their statues everywhere. What is that? About thousands of people, 50,000 people, 100,000 people. History has gone finished. We don't have to remember them. I hate everybody. Not necessary. But think for yourself. So if killing is so beautiful, allow somebody to be a killer, get yourself killed. You're the conqueror. Conquerors, statues should be there. Remove. The world should forget them. Put their statues who have reminded you the whole universe is one. Whose presence did not create any division. Whose speech, whose action, whose living did not create any sense of division, competition, comparison. But in whose presence everything is fantastic. Like Bhagavan Krishna says, there was never a time when I was not. I am not. I will not be. Here, you know, there is never a time when you are not, you are not, you shall not be. There is never a time when all these kings were not, they are not, or they shall not be. You are, you were, you shall be. What a dimension. Now, just like scientists say, one fellow discovers something, his name is given. So religion also. One name, one guy, one guy. What is this? What is this guy? Who is this person? And what is he doing? Borrowed from every other religion that was existing before. Great one idea from any other tradition, any other, whatever the things you like that. But Upanishads doesn't claim itself a religion. No idea you can ever speak without touching it, consciously, unconsciously. That is why you don't say it a Hindu scripture. You don't have to. But if you want to say it, say it, choice is yours. But that should no way create that they are not this and not that. This is my Guru Swami was telling beautifully. Why say, why do you say, say that, you know, I don't want to talk that language, you know. Why do I worship this scripture? Because it tells me I am not a Hindu. Well then who are you? Truth, Brahman Absolute. I am not a man, not a woman, not a child. Do not identify with any religion, any limited identity. How can I 
identify with the limitation of a religion or a tradition or a custom or faith or a practice. No. Be yourself. Then which practice? Choose. Everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful because I am beautiful. So that tradition which helps you to know that you are beautiful, then you shall be comfortable with everybody. You shall not dismiss anything. Why? Somebody needs it, that's fine. Which lifestyle is good? Bedouin? Alaskan? Eskimos? African tribes? Himalayan tribals? Andaman Nicobar tribes? Black, white, green, yellow, red? Everybody is fantastic. Understand that reality. So we shall see that, friends. The physical body is the ultimate. In the physical universe. So in the physical universe, if you have to understand anything, the body has to be understood. And in your subtle thought universe, what is the most important thought? Without which every other thought is meaningless? I thought. And between the I thought and the physical body, which one you should understand? The gross unconscious physical universe or the subtle conscious I, the individual? We'll see that tomorrow, any other time. Thank you. Just close your eyes, friends. This is the essential thing. The most essential. For anybody, it doesn't matter where you are born, in which country, which continent, it doesn't matter. Don't try to prove it as scientific, historical. It doesn't matter. Totally unscientific. It keeps me, makes me immortal. I grab it. It's totally irrational. You can't prove it anywhere in any factory or anything. It doesn't matter. It's beyond logic. Beyond experimentation. If I say I am the happiest one, how will you deny? Then you like to torture me, my physical body. Because that is your experimentation. Oh, he's, he's cutting down. He's, how is he crying? How is he crying? You see, he's, I am the happiness. Stupid. Happiness is not a condition like a cutting the body. I must be stupid to say for my happiness, I have confidence, I shall allow to kill my body. Why should I allow my body to be killed? I shall tell you, I am not the happiness. Forget it. Because even if I say the truth, you will not understand it. If I tell a lie, you will not understand it either. But why should I allow my body to be killed? If I am alive, I can share this knowledge with everybody. If I allow myself to be dead, why should I waste my time on that? When the body goes spontaneously, fantastic. Neither I want to die untimely, nor you should, nobody must die untimely. How beautiful life is. So the body must be understood on the path. Then the I thought, very important. And then, there is no then. Once you are aware, it's the end of it. And that is the beginning of it. Beginningless, endless. Close your eyes, friends. We shall see more of it next class. Thank you, friends.